up, Matt from Rats Fab here. So we're making some progress with the Mini. As you can see, got the, uh, all the sound deadening stripped out, which was an absolute headache of a job. Some of that stuff just seems to chip off and take everything with it and leave you with a nice clean surface. And then this stuff is just chipping off in little bits and then had to basically uh, soak it all in panel wipe and then scotch bright it to get all the uh, like glue and stuff off so that literally took me hours and hours and hours um, <clears throat> so I did that I've cut out this section here which was part of the seat uh, I've removed the um, tub bits there and I've also removed a section here so the cage will sit uh, sit back in there sort of at the top of the wheel tub there so yeah cleaned everything up didn't find any any uh, anything nasty anywhere which is good first job is I'm gonna make some foot plate boxes for the cage Okay, so I've got my boxes uh, made up. These are uh, welded uh, inside and outside, and then I just smoothed off the edges. Just to make it looks a bit nicer. So I've had loads of people ask what um, what club I'm going to be racing with, and it's the, the Mini Seven Club is the uh, what I want to join. And um, I've printed off the regs. There's, there's four different classes, so um, but the the preparation for the shell, you know, you can you can do one shell that would potentially be um good for all the different classes so i'll talk at the end of the video a bit more about which class i think i want to go in but um this here shows the it basically is showing the um this front section and how you can add support to it to stop it being able to be pushed back into the uh driver's feet so you've got a couple of options you can do that one where it runs along the 
whole centre section of the tunnel, that one in the middle, and then comes out to the points uh, where the subframe mounts, or you can go from the cage feet, this one on the right here, the cage feet, um, out all the way along the front, and that's a very similar one on the left there, just with some you know different bends in the tube and stuff. I've seen them where they've done a combination of two where it's all tied in. I personally like the look of the one on the right where the bar comes up around the front of it because I feel like that offers the most protection to the driver's feet um, and it's going to stop that all that floor pan all along the front edge being able to be pushed in towards your feet. So I think that's the, the style I'm going to go for. So they all just connect into these points here. But I want to tie into the rack mounts as well because you've got... Um, this is where the, the this are the U-bolts. Basically the steering rack just bolts into that and then you've got like a, a pressed piece that's just spot welded along the back side of that. So. All you've got support in this rack is basically a one mil um, thick pressed panel and you've got a little bit of extra support in um, a little piece spot welded on there just to give that a bit of extra strength to stop these bolts pulling through and that's it. So fine for road car obviously because um, that's how they were built, but for something I'm going to race, I'm going to want this whole section to be uh, much stronger. So I'm thinking of making a plate that will tie all this into this, so something that will sit down in here, go over that, and then be welded over the top of all of this. I might even actually make a plate that goes all the way across and joins the two because you can see all those spot welds along there and along there. So that's where the front section of this rack mount is spot welded to this. There's my little strengthening plate, two mil, so it didn't really weigh much. Trying to keep the weight down and then uh, this sitting there. They'll get welded like corners corner like that. Little slots are for um, this is like right on the edge of the plate that sits under here, so it will set like I'll be able to weld down here and sandwich all three layers together. But I do need to make these slots a little bit bigger um, just so that I can 
get right in there to weld properly. So the way I made that was just cut out a basic template and then just mark where the holes were and then drew over the top of it all and then just went off of that. That was, just seemed like the... Uh, and then mirrored it like that. Seemed like the easiest way to go about it and uh, yeah, came out good. It sits like that. Holes line up nicely. So that, this is right on the edge of the, uh, this plate so it'll get, it'll weld this plate, this plate and this plate together. And then this, these basically line up the same down here. So I can just clean everything up bolt this down, um, clean where all the welds are going to be and then I'll just stitch weld this all into place and I'm going to drill a load of holes so I'm going to drill right through these just in between these spot welds that, this is all that's basically supporting this rack is that spot welded to this 1mm tin so once this is all drilled all the way through, and then I can plug weld that all the way through to the two mil plate I've added on the other side. And um, that's gonna make this whole area uh, much stronger. It's all cleaned up, ready to go. Got a bit of weld through primer on there. So I can uh, clamp this in and weld it up now.
All right, that's um, all welded in, and uh, that is really solid now. Like I could push my foot on here and flex this whole panel in and out before, and um, that's now really strong. I carry on the cage is basically a bar that will come across into the uh, cage box here and uh, out and round and then I we'll have some brackets that will connect the tube coming down here connect underneath and also probably connect into there or something along the top but, um, Yeah, I'm happy with uh, how that came out. All right, so I said I'd um, talk a bit about the classes and uh, what class I'm thinking of entering into. I'm not 100% sure yet. Um, but you've got four classes, basically. Seven S class, the Sevens, Miglias, and the Libra class. So the, the Sevens and the Miglias are, are fully built race engines generally like big money. <clears throat> so those two classes are kind of out. Um, so it, it's the 7S class or the Libra class. 7S class is a tw <coughs> 1275 engine and quite specific guidelines um, to build it to. The Libra class is much more open. Um, you can run up to a 1380 uh, engine, twin cam engine, um, as long as it's an A-series. You're not allowed turbo or supercharger, but as long as it's an A-series and, and uh, under a 1.4, I think it is, then that is allowed. And there's also, with that class, uh, more leeway uh, on other areas of the car as well. I think the Libra cast is going to make the most interesting build and they run in with the Miglias so they're, they're all quick cars. Uh, the Miglias run apparently around 130 and you all run in together but some of the Libras are running up to like 180 um, but I think if I could get you know around 130 out of something if I do go in that class. So I've been looking around for engine options and um, second hand there's not really much about. Uh, if you happen to have anything for sale that might fit the bill then drop me an email, put my email in the um, description box. So yeah, if you've got anything that fits the bill do get in contact or if you've got any other bits that you know I might need um, that you're selling and um, yeah give me a shout. Next video I'm going to start bending up the cage. Still got tickets left for the welding raffle if you're interested in trying to win a welder for a fiver. Details to that will be uh, are on my website urchfab.com. That's going to be it for this one. Just watching. See you in the next one.